The Type 99 or ZTZ-99 is a Chinese third-generation main battle tank. The vehicle was a replacement for the aging Type 88 introduced in the late 1980s. The Type 99 MBT was China's first mass-produced third-generation main battle tank. Combining modular composite armor and tandem charge defeating ERA, 125mm smoothbore gun with ATGM capability, high mobility, digital systems and optics, the Type 99 represents a shift towards rapid modernization by the PLA. The Type 99 is based on the Soviet T-72 chassis. The tank entered People's Liberation Army service in 2001. The People's Liberation Army Ground Force is the sole operator of the Type 99. Three main versions of the Type 99 have been deployed, the Type 98 prototype, Type 99 and the Type 99A. The Type 99 forms the core of China's modern maneuver combat capabilities, with over 1,200 tanks built for the past two decades. The main armament is a two-plane stabilized ZPT-98 125mm smoothbore gun with a carousel-style autoloader. The weapon system is derived from Russian 2A46 tank gun and MZ autoloader in the T-72. The gun may be fired under computerized or manual control. The tank can carry 42 rounds including 22 in the autoloader. The rate of fire is 8 rounds per minute using the autoloader, and 2 rounds per minute with manual loading. The Type 99A mounts an improved 125mm gun, with a new autoloader capable of firing 10 rounds per minute. The 125mm gun of the Type 99 is capable of firing APFSDST, heat, frag HET, and gun-launched anti-tank missiles. The gun may fire a range of Chinese, Russian, and ex-Warsaw packed ammunition. The Type 99 can fire tandem-shaped charge GP-125 ATGM similar to the Russian Inver, with a range of up to 5 km. The 9M119 ATGMs were approved for domestic license production by Russia. The DTW-125 Type 2 APFSDS ammunition is estimated to be able to penetrate 700 mm of RHA at 1000 m and at least 600 mm of RHA at 2000 m. The heat ammunition is estimated to penetrate 500 mm of armor. The missile has a range of 5000 m during daylight and a range of 4000 m during night operation. On Type 99A, an improved variant of DTW-125 features lengthened dark penetrator of 720mm, 28-in, long and denser structure material. US Tradoc, and an internal document at Narinko describes the new DTC-10-125 is capable of penetrating 960mm of RHA at 1000m, and 800mm of RHA at 2000m due to self-sharpening. Secondary armament consists of a QJC-88 12.7mm machine gun on the commander's cupola and a coaxial 7.62mm milligram. The 12.7mm machine gun has an elevation of minus 4 to 75 degrees. Fire control. The Type 99 has hunter-killer capabilities, operating an ISFCS-212 fire control system with an IR automatic target tracker. It is capable of firing on the move with a dual-axis stabilized main gun, stabilized gunner thermal sight, an advanced ballistic computer and a laser range finder. The gunner has a maximum target acquisition range of 5 km. The gunner's thermal sight has optical magnification at 5x and 11.4x. The commander also has access to an independent thermal sight with auto-tracking targeting capabilities. A wide range of sensor data is displayed through a computer system to achieve quicker command response. The Type 99 AMBT is equipped with an improved fire control system, which includes a new third-generation thermal imaging site, ballistic computer and weather measurement sensors, thus improving ballistic trajectory under adverse conditions. The commander also has an independent panoramic site with laser rangefinding function that can rotate 360 degrees. Both the gunner and commander site is fully stabilized and capable of day or night operations. Type 99A is fitted with ST 16mm wave radar suite, designed for target identification, acquisition, and track. The original Type 99 utilizes the onboard active laser defense system for identification friend or foe application but the function may be compromised under adverse weather condition. The radar system instead offers a more reliable all-weather operation capability. 
Type 99A's fire control computer can also automatically measure, identify, and correct firing errors with muzzle reference system mounted at the tip of the gun barrel as well as position-sensitive detector, situated at the base of the barrel underneath the millimeter wave radar panel, ensuring greater hit probability in sophisticated battlefield environments. Type 99 and Type 99A are fitted with Digital Map Interface, Beidou Global Positioning System, UHF, VHF Radio, Encrypted Laser Communication System and other form of communication devices, along with an inertial navigation system as well as AC for ISR battle management system used in conjunction with the data link and communication systems to coordinate combat with other forces such as aircraft and infantry. The tank's welded turret is of an angular design with spaced modular armor and composite panels. Applique armor consists of modular armor mentioned above and track skirts. The Type 99A may mount third-generation ERA that provides protection against tandem charge warheads. It has a nuclear biological chemical protection system as well as fire detection and suppression system. The storage baskets on the turret sides and rear are buffer spaces and are protected by ERA. The tank is also equipped with an active protection system. Type 99A's protection performance, in combination of the traditional armor, composite mix and reactive armor, is equivalent to more than 1,000 mm of rolled homogeneous armor RHA, according to an interview with the tank's commander. The tank features multiple countermeasure systems for additional protection, including laser-based self-defense weapon system, laser warning receiver system, 1281mm smoke grenade launchers, and smoke screen generated by injecting fuel into the engines. The box-shaped JD-3 active laser self-defense weapon is installed on the rotating platform behind the tank commander hatch for all Type 99 variants. First seen on the Type 98 prototype, consecutive improvements are introduced over the years. Type 99A features a smaller, more compact LSDW. After the laser warning receiver receives enemy laser illumination, the system would automatically alert the crew, and activate low-intensity laser to search and locate the enemy's laser source, then intensifying the beam to blind the enemy gunner, damage or destroy enemy's optic sensors. The high-powered laser can engage both ground vehicles and helicopters, disrupting guidance signal or damaging gunner's eyesight. The jammer is able to interfere anti-tank guided missiles utilizing SACLOs such as the Milan. The LSDW has a reported effective range of 3,000 meters, 9,800 feet, on Type 99, and 4,000 meters, 13,000 feet, on Type 99A. JD-3 system also integrates laser transmitter, serving for both the line-of-sight communication and the identification friend or foe purpose. He driver sits in the center front of the hull. The latest Type 99A shows the driver's hatch in the center left of the hull. Type 99 features torsion bar suspension system consists of six rubber tired road wheels on each side with power sprocket at the rear. The first, second and sixth road wheels are fitted with special hydraulic shock buffer. The Type 99A tank is powered by a HP 151,500 horsepower diesel engine giving it a power to weight ratio of about 27.78 horsepower per ton. The original Type 99 had a manual transmission, but later Type 99 variants have a CH-1000 hydraulic mechanical semi-automatic transmission with six forward gears, and two reverse gears. The maximum road and off-road speeds are 80 km per hour and 60 km per hour respectively. The cruising range is 500 km. The Type 99A is controlled by a steering wheel yoke with stick shift transmission capable of manual and automatic modes. The tank also uses gas and brake pedals similar to that of a standard motor vehicle. The tank can be equipped with a snorkel for deep fording. With the deep fording kit, the Type 99A can cross waters up to 4.5 meters in depth.